here and touch with my IG. <laughs> <laughs> So we've just started the video and I have all my beautiful, I will say my seniors class, not seniors, <laughs> but the class here, Thursday 11 o'clock, chair yoga, and we thought we would video it to um, yeah, capture this memory really of us all sharing the space together. We're just about to do what we do occasionally and I like to do this often is to light a candle and once the candle's lit I place it into the centre of the room and if there's anyone that has anyone that they would like to put into our prayers and thoughts as we honour their journey through our practice today, then we share their name. Some people like to share a little bit about why they're sharing, other times we just simply share the name. <coughs> I'll just get this candle going. son Troy, he's out of hospital, he's, uh, you would know that he fell five and a half metres out of a tree and smashed his femur, femur and shattered his ankle, he's uh, new, wow. yeah, so he got out of hospital day for yesterday, so that means he's going to be laid up for quite a while. Well, he will be, and mm. looking forward. in a lot of pain as well, mm. yeah. He seems in good spirits, okay. yeah, he's yeah. starting to bend his knee, it's not quite as swollen. Yeah. Troy. Yeah, Troy. Troy, yeah. So may there be healing for Troy. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. He's got a long road ahead of him. Yeah. yeah. Anybody else have anyone they want to add? Yes. Errol. 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 Yeah, yes. let's, let's place Errol. We know. Would you like to share? Um, when he picks me up at 12 o'clock or 12.15, to Launceston to find out the results of his biopsy. So um, that was for prostate cancer. So fingers crossed that. Hope's all positive. Yeah. All positive. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not positive, but. Oh, <laughs> no. Hope it's all positive. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, no. yeah. yeah. That was that was just gorgeous. A pre for a clear, a pre for a clear biopsy oh. or a smooth journey, whatever. Oh, the whatever. Is. Whatever the outcome. Yeah. 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 And love and support for you yeah. all. She had a uh, appendicitis, oh. so she had an appendicitis. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That would have been like a sudden thing. It was just the night before. Wow. Yeah, she was in there. Wow. So, you know, you don't expect it for an adult. No, you don't. Just children. Oh, dear yeah. Mary, I didn't know yeah. that. I hadn't yeah. known that. So, so that's two weeks now. Really? Okay, yeah. so definitely, yeah, we'll put Lynn in there as well. She's, yeah, yeah she's a presence that's missed right now, so, yeah. 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 Yeah, so Lynn, if you watch the video, this is for you too. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Wow. Anyone else? My sister Teresa lost her husband just a week ago, so it's very mm. Wow. Yeah. Teresa, and what was his name? Ian. Ian. Teresa, Ian, and their children? Yeah. Yeah, and a family. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, was it sudden or? Oh no, he knew for a, he was given twenty five days apparently, but he lasted fourteen months. So wow, he did really well. Yeah, so it's a 
it's shop. Still they were soul mates, so it was really good to have. It's, like it's really hard to, 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 yeah. to watch that, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. 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 So Ian and Teresa and the family. Wow. Yeah. Anyone else? I have, um, I won't mention names, but I do have two souls that um, I would like to just pop in there deep healing have um, things going on for the last few years so I, my, I'm putting both of them in there so the souls come to resolution <sighs> and good health for each and every one of you here so we'll, we'll land in I think after that so let's place our feet on the floor sort of make yourself comfortable in your chair without being too overly reliant on the, the back crest. Create a little bit of a length in your spine, but a softness at the same time. Kind of feeling into that when you see a baby in a pram and they've just learned to sit and they sit in this light, buoyant way. They're just not yet developed in their musculature, but there's something else that's holding them up, even though it is partly the muscles. But see if you can just feel into your own body that way. Just take a little bit of movement, that subtle, subtle movement and feel a sense of, is there any buoyancy? It's okay if there's not. It's nice to watch the way babies sit. If you're comfortable to close your eyes, let them close. Feel into all of those points of contact of your feet on the floor, your body on the chair. Feel the support. Finding a point of stillness if you can. Noticing any sensations that are speaking to you in your body. <coughs> Do you have any areas that right now in your own body they do feel quite clear do you have anything on your mind weighing heavy on your mind or your heart at the moment just acknowledging whatever you are experiencing that's okay at the moment into the rise and the fall of your natural breath without changing that. And then without changing the actual way you breathe, Next time we breathe in, we're going to take it in for a count of four, without forcing it. Just invite the breath in for a count of four, with a little pause at the top. Releasing for four. And a pause at the bottom. Continue this on your own, in your own rhythm. Feeling the initiation of the breath, noticing the belly expand, then the lower ribs, then your upper chest, then your shoulders. And that reverses as you let the breath go. Indulge in any pause, either top or bottom or both.
keeping that same rhythm, breathing out fully. Next time we breathe in, we're going to take a little roll of the pelvis forward, rolling it forward and create a little squeeze of your back body. Open your front body up. And as you exhale, roll the pelvis back, feel folding down in the front body. Feeling the breath rise in, roll pelvis forward. Feel that lovely squeeze of your back body, squeeze even your shoulder blades back together. And exhale, round. Inhale forward, starting to increase the movement a little more intentionally now. Exhale. Inhale. A little stronger with your breath. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. neutral spine. Let's take the neck now, head and neck, drop your chin down and fold your spine all the way down forward, trace your hands down your legs and then lead with the back of your heart, start to rising up, curl your vertebra, heart uh, segment by segment, head last. Exhale again. Drop the chin, rolling down, vertebra by vertebra, folding forward. And then rising up. Staying with the body upright this time, let's just take a little bit of exploration with your head, any position that feels right. Closing your eyes and still going by feel. You're not trying to stretch the big muscles, you're feeling into the joints and letting the joints kind of be directed from within and as a result of that your muscles do get stretched any places that call you want to pause there and hold them there longer listen to those staying with your breath too Inhale now, open your arms, open them wide, squeeze those arms back, open through your heart, lift through your heart. Exhale, turn the hands around and grab the back of your chair and lean forward, widen your feet and lean forward. Tuck your chin, keep the back of your neck long. Inhale, sit halfway up, heart lift. Exhale, folding forward. Keep hold of that chair. Inhale, unravel up. Exhale, forward. Good. Bring yourself all the way up. <clears throat> Sitting down on the chair, take your heels off the floor. Point and flex, just your toes. Not your ankles, just your toes. Not your whole feet, just you. Just those toes. Feel into the joints. Good. And now your ankles. So flex and extend your feet. Beautiful. Pause. Now circles. Circles with your ankles. Softly awareness into inside the joint. Notice where you feel pressure. Or not. Notice where you feel freedom. Flow. Both places. Good. Rotate the ankles the other direction. Beautiful. Releasing down. Maybe leaning back, slide your bottom forward. Lift that right knee up and hug it into your belly. Take little circles here just with that right side. Sort of almost you'll feel a compression into the right 
into the right groin area. Good. Hold behind the leg now. Extend and bend. Extend and bend. Extend and bend. Keeping that right foot flexed. And you draw your toes towards your nose. Push your heel away every time you straighten it. Yeah, you can. So no, take it easy. Take it gently. Nice and gentle. That's it. Good job. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to take our right foot into the left hand. And we might take some little circles here. Taking your time. Just feeling into your right hip. You're creating this external rotation with your leg and the hip. Ball and socket joint. And stir the pot the other way. Cross that ankle on top of your thigh. And let's just take some little circles like a mortar and pestle with that upper body. Really connecting with where it's landing for you. The sensations, the stretch, that lovely movement through your joints. Pause and go the other way. Size a little more attention onto the places that you really notice. Oh yeah, that's kind of a little tender there. Go to that edge. That's just your edge you want to meet. Nice and softly. Beautiful. Pausing here and take a little pulse forward and then back. Maybe like a wave down and then up. Wave down and then up. Just feeling into where you notice it most in that right side. And then actually take a forward fold in the direction and position that you notice it in your right hip most. Once you're there, you may like to massage into that right foot. Say hello to your toes. How are you today, toes? Get into the neck of the toes and all those little tender points around your toes. And into the feet themselves. You can Take your thumbs for a walk or through your feet, foot, your right foot, the one that's crossed. And notice how that connection lands in you. Are you aware that you're touching your feet? What does that feel like? Are you receiving that? How are you responding to that? Sometimes we can kind of be cut off to it and we don't know that. Am I really open to the sensation of me touching my foot? Am I receiving it? Letting myself feel it? Beautiful. Nice work, everyone. Slowly, slowly rising up. Undo that leg. Bring it back into the centre. If this feels right to you, you may like to get your strap instead, but if you can hold your foot, and take, extend your leg out, but you could also use your strap. And I'll show for the video's sake what that looks like. To use our strap. <laughs> so it's the same thing, starting with the flex within the leg and then extending once the strap is looped around the foot. Create a length in your spine as well, not to look up with the head, Chin tucks, but we grow tall in your spine. Push your heel away, but be, be careful when you do that. You'll really feel it behind the leg. That's it, yes. <laughs> if you want to take it across your body, that might be nice. I kind of like the strap now. Because it gives you compression in your hip. You good, Lynn? Yep. I love because it pulls that hip right into the joint and it's really nice to create that compression sometimes. It's kind of not only relieving but can be therapeutic just because of the response all of those receptors have inside the joint and that fluid, you know, it's like kind of stimulating fluid by pressure and letting it flow into the space when we release it. <coughs> and then release, bring the knee, release. Take a little swivel with that leg, get your strap 
close by the next side. Make sure we are breathing. And let's do that on the other side. Left knee now, pulling in. And just taking some <coughs> circles in that outward direction. Can you move it from the hip rather than just your lower leg? If, if anything, the lower leg doesn't move on its own. It's from the hip here on. That's it. Yeah. Good. All right. So from here, we're going to now take stir the pot. So holding on to the foot and the knee and stirring like you're stirring the porridge. And it's creating that lovely movement through your here, there, there with our head of the femur sits into your pelvis, it's called acetabulum. That's it. Good job. And then go the other way. Good. Now across that left ankle on top of your right thigh. And you're going to create little mortar and pestle circles with your ab body. take those little pulses and forward folds to where it feels good for you and then stay forward folded where it feels good <clears throat> make your way into the massage massaging the foot maybe start with your toe Just having a mix of your toes closing your eyes and really feeling how that's landing how am I receiving Get in, step under and extend both your spine, your leg and your spine. Push that heel away. I'm going to take it across the midline a little bit. Slowly, slowly. <coughs> Just feeling into that uh, outer thigh. Good. Come back to centre. Bend the knee. Release. Let's hold the straps just while you've got them. Take a little swivel here with that other leg. Good job. Alright, keep 
hold of your straps and we're going to take yourself to standing <coughs> and turn your take your chair to the front of your mat make sure your legs are on your mat and turn the seat of your chair toward you with our strap here make sure your feet are solid to it we're going to take quite a good firm taut hold of the strap and then inhale here rise the arms above you might need to widen your stance a little bit here and then with the exhalation I'd like you just to close your eyes and again feel that unwinding if you need to widen your, arm, your arms you'll know Play with bending the knee as well and just let your body find that position. Just be guided by what feels really good. Placing your straps down to the side. Bring your hands to your heart. Inhale here. Gather the energy up. Exhale. Bend your knees. Fold and roll your spine. Then straighten your legs at the last minute. Head to the chair if you don't have low blood pressure. Otherwise, keep the head up slightly. Inhale. Half lift. Flatten your spine, exhale, fold forward with bent legs. Inhale, sit deep down and then push down to rise up. Keep your shoulders allow, gather that energy up and bring the hands down to the heart. And again, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sit down, rise up. Exhale, bring the energy down to your heart. Inhale. Exhale, sit down in a chair. Inhale, half lift with straight legs. Straighten your legs, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sit deep down to rise up. Exhale, bring the energy to your heart. Great. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step left foot back, right foot forward. Come into a lunge. Lunge into that front foot, push back with the back leg. Inhale, extend your spine. Exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Let's take a few breaths here and downward chair dog. Make sure you're not pushing the chair away. It's just support for a flat down hands pressing toward the floor. Draw your hips back. Hips draw back beyond your heels, weight is in your heels. Deep breath in through your spine, through your side body. Inhale here, look to the front. Step your left foot forward. Come into the lunge with an extended spine. Push back through your back heel. Exhale here, step forward with a standing split. Inhale, half lift with the standing split. Keep it there. 
and exhale. Bend that leg behind your knee. Yeah, inhale, standing split, push back behind, extended spine, half lift. Exhale, bend and take that right leg behind your left knee. Inhale, standing split, point, half lift. And exhale, land the right foot down, forward fold. <coughs> inhale, sit deep down in your chair to rise up. And exhale, bring the energy down to your heart. Take a breath here. Just make sure you feel stable. If you do need to shake your hands out a little bit, shake them out. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step right foot back, lunge. Inhale, lengthen that spine, squeeze long. Exhale, step back, downward facing dog. You can choose if your feet want to be wide or narrow. Melt your heart down, lengthen through your side body, lengthen through that spine, draw your hips back. Keep your breast flowing. Soft, soft, beautiful. Beautiful. Inhale, look forward. Step your right foot forward. Set up for the lunge. You might need to bring your feet a little closer if you did have them wide. Now inhale here, lengthen your spine. And exhale, step forward to a standing split. Make sure you stay. Inhale, half lift here with your standing split. And exhale, bend the left knee and take it behind that bent right knee. Bend the right knee's right foot. Inhale, straighten the right knee. Extend your left leg. Strong spine. Exhale, bent knee behind. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Inhale, extend, and exhale, land the left foot down, forward fold, even with a deep sit. Inhale, sit deep to rise up, push the heels down. Exhale, hands to your heart. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bring your feet a little closer and bend your knees, sitting down into chair. And if it feels right, just lift your hips a little bit off, your, not your hips, your heels, sorry, off the floor a little bit. So you're coming up onto a tippy-toe chair. Keep drawing your hips back. You're not in a deep, deep chair, just enough. Good. Land that down. Straighten your legs. Come back into downward facing dog. Draw your hips back. Relieving through any compression that you just created in those legs. Good. Inhale, look to the front, step forward, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, unravel all the way up to stand, gather that energy out. Exhale, hands to your heart. Right. Let's take inhale here. Exhale, sit down to chair pose. If it's available, take the arms and reach out in front of you. 
when you inhale with a long straight back. When you exhale, forward fold in. Inhale, arms forward. You're still in your chair. Exhale, fold. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Hands to the chair, straighten that leg with the forward, but those legs with the forward fold. Now inhale, slowly stand up. And if this feels right, you might like to either have your hands on your hips out or lift up with your left leg lifted. Your left leg. Good. Good. Now hands down, step that foot back to warrior one. Step that left foot back to warrior one. Bend deeply into the front leg. The front leg's still facing the front. Good job. And make sure that back foot's not turned too far back. You want it turned, just turned out 10 degrees from the centre. Turn the toes in into the centre more. So you want your body facing the front. Bring it, bring your toes a little closer to the front. That's it. Robin and yourself as well. So if your feet were in the in this one plane line, just turn it 10 degrees off that centre plane. Oh, I know why you're getting confused because some have right foot forward. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> you got it though. Your back foot looks good. All right, so inhale here. Raise those arms up. Strong legs. Stay with the legs. Exhale the arms. And this time here with the arms, take them out in front of you. And open them back. Out in front of you. Push back with your back leg. Open them up. Out in front of you. Open them up. Good. Land the hands down to the chair. Swivel that back foot out just a tad more and widen your stance. So wiggle your front foot forward more. Get ready for warrior two. Bend deeply into the front leg. Place your right hand in the centre of your chair. Well, the front hand. Left arm cartwheel back and then standing up into Virabhadrasana two. Push back through the back leg as well. Beautiful. Really nice. Good job, everyone. That's good. Now let your back hand behind your back, whatever that back hand is. Inhale, reverse warrior. And I think I need to relieve my front leg, so straighten it. And we'll take reverse triangle. Straighten your front leg if you wish. Breathe into those ribs where you're stretching and opening now, whatever side you're on. Inhale here. Exhale back to Virabha Drasana 2. Inhale, hand to the chair. Straighten your front leg. Triangle pose. Straight front leg. Left arm can be on your hip, or the back arm can be on your hip. Draw that shoulder back. Or if you were, she could take it up to the sky. Left hand down. Bend that front leg now. If you wish, stay here on your chair. Or if you want to come a little bit deeper, you could take that elbow to the front leg. Keep drawing your top, your back shoulder. Keep drawing it back, opening through the chest. Great. Come out. Go to downward facing dog. Yeah, that's it. Beautiful. And really feel into your hips. Move your hips around and really find, sort of let them wiggle back into place for you. Beautiful. Good. Release your back hand. Push your front foot down to stand up. Then we're going to swivel around to the front. So lift that back foot up and turn it now back around to the front. Good job. And let's step back down with facing the up. Draw those hips back. 
deep breath into the body. Is that better, Keitha? Is that better? Yeah, it's good now. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Continue to check in with your hips and pelvis for their alignment. Are they happy? Be really mindful with our transitions. Keeping in mind that your hip is that ball and socket joint. Try to almost get that x-ray vision, that connection. It's really important to keep that connection there. Watch where your feet are, or your knees and hips in alignment with your toes. Okay, looking up now, let's step forward into a half lift. Flat back. Exhale, bend with deep, deep sit. Inhale, push down to rise up. And exhale, bring the energy down to the heart. Release your hands. Take a moment before we do the other side, just to kind of feel into your hips right now. You might want to put your hands not on your hips up here, but down here in your leg bones and just feel what's going on for me with my ball and socket joint here. I like to just wrap my hands right around, feel like I'm holding the joint. Just play, explore different directions. Sometimes we do a figure eight. And this just helps put things back into place. Let's release any fascia. Kind of almost clear cobwebs. So this time we're going to be lifting the right leg and we'll be stepping back into warrior one. If you don't want to lift the right leg, you just step your right leg or the other leg back into warrior one, all right? So inhale, if you're going to lift that leg, just do the leg if you know your balance isn't right. When you're ready, step back. Find the Vibradrasana one. So you're not turning that toes out too far yet. Perfect. Bending into the front leg while we're pushing back with the back. And let's inhale here, open here. Changing the arms a little bit. And exhale back. Inhale, open your heart. Welcome in what you want more of. Exhale. Inhale. Inhale. As we exhale, bring those hands to the chair. Walk those front foot forward, back, <coughs> uh, forward a bit more. And then set the back foot up ready for warrior two. Bend into the front leg. Place your left hand in the center of your chair. And cartwheel your right arm up, pushing up to find the Vibradrasana two. Make sure your legs are beautiful. Your hips are in good position. Front foot still faces the front. So good bend in that front knee. And go as deep as you will, your body allows you to. Widen your stance, your confidence, everybody. Your stances are beautiful. The solid connection. I would be wiggle that front foot forward a little bit more so that you can see your toes, the underneath. rest, right hand, back hand behind your back, inhale, reverse warrior or triangle, straighten that front leg, other way, you had it right hand, yep, right hand, other way, you got it, beautiful, and reverse, so reaching in a reverse way, straighten that front leg if you wish, no, we'll say yourself, if you can do the other way, other right behind your back, beautiful, yeah, that's it, nice work. So reverse warrior. Good. Release that. Come back into warrior two. Release the hands down. Straighten the front leg. Place your left hand, your front hand on the chair. Open through your shoulder. Create the twist in your upper body. Some of you may like to take that top arm to the ceiling. Good. 
release that right arm down. Bend the front knee quite deeply. We're going to come to side angle if you wish. Maybe some of you may like to take your left elbow to the knee. Get that right arm, the top shoulder, opening up for your twist of your upper body. Some of you may like to take that top arm over your ear, otherwise keep it on your hip. Beautiful. Spin your hand to the chair, lift your leg, take your body now to face the front, bring everything back into alignment, find downward dog. Step forward into the half lift. So flat back. Exhale into the forward fold and deep squat. Inhale, rising up. Gather the energy up. Exhale, bring it to you. Release your arms down. So if you want to do a tree pose, our option now and um, well you could stand beside your chair as well if you just want to have balance there or have it beside you whatever's going to work for your balance we can take a next week we'll do a group tree because that's our last week so I won't be able to do that video in that one um, let's take a baby tree for a start place your heel on top I'll stand back here a little bit just for the camera so heel on top of the foot pressing thumbs into your sternum. Stay there if that's where you want to stay or you might like to challenge yourself by taking your branches above your head. And if that's where you would like to stay, this is where you stay today because you're not using anything to balance, you're supporting yourself. If you wish to go a little higher, you may like to use your chair as stability. Place that foot underneath the knee, toes pointing down, open, your hips should be open enough too. If you want to go even higher, help that foot up, but keep your hands on your sternum there, or one hand on the chair. At any point, if you do want to bring your branches up, whatever stage you're at, do so. Watch that wind. <laughs> <laughs> are feeling it. All right, land and down. Shake that <coughs> knee out. Take a moment just to sway side to side. Both feet on the floor. Beautiful. Grounding now through your left foot. Or the other foot that we didn't do. Starting, baby tree, if you wish, go to the tree of your choice. Okay, remember your hands as well. If you want to go here, take it there. If you want to go higher, remember stability. Stay with the level that's right for your body. You might like to challenge yourself with a little bit more of a let go occasionally. Love your concentration. Beautiful. Slowly come out. And again, let's take a little sway. Like you've done a lot yet? <laughs> <laughs> Any tight 
getting ready to, to go to the floor now, Lee? Yeah. Yeah. Unanimous yes. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Good. Yeah. All right. Let's inhale. Reach. Clasp your hands. Reach up tall as you stretch down. Exhale, release. And just before we do go to the floor, if it's possible, <coughs> take your chair to the side of your mat, to the middle of your long edge, so that you can take your feet wide. You're going to take your feet wide and turn your toes out for the moment. And just start to shift your weight from foot to foot, bending, and bending each knee. Make sure both feet are on your sticky mat. Your toes are turned out when you do this. Not too far, just enough. Your knees will tell you how far it is for you, right? So lot, some of our pelvises won't let us turn out that much. Okay, then just down through little pulses through the centre. Your spine is still, still nice and long. Good, beautiful. Standing up, spin your toes now. Keep your heels aligned, but spin your toes to the front of your mat front of your long edge of your mat, stay where you are. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale here, forward fold to your chair. And I like to take my hands to the outside of the chair, the back of the chair, forearms on the chair, and then draw your hips back. You may like to move your chair away slightly, turn your toes in more. I want you to feel into your body here. If you want to rest your forehead on the chair, that's nice too. Slowly, slowly come up, your toe, your feet in, all the way, bend your knees and then unravel your way up, vertebra by vertebra, tucking the towel under until you stand up, roll shoulders back, beautiful, notice how you feel, and then really slowly, let's place our chairs away. down to your back. And if it feels nice, bring your knees into your belly and take little circles here. Holding 
onto your left knee and just allow your right leg to slide long. You change sides, slowly slide the right knee in with the left leg. and bend your knees, place your feet in front of your bottom, widen your feet and widen your knees, just clear the floor from your hips, lift the hips and plop them down, so it maybe takes some little wee tiny flops, the hips feels like okay. Good, pausing there. Take alternating windshield wiper legs. So just let them drop in and maybe one drop out a little. You don't have to force that. Do what your body is comfortable with. The key here is just keeping that space between your feet and your knees to allow space for the internal external rotation. Good. Pausing here. Walk those feet together. Shift your hips to the right and let both knees gently fall together into a twist to the left. Again, you know yourself. If you need props, pillows under the knees between them, bolster even, use whatever props are going to help you surrender. Listen to your body. Return and return your hips to center. Take a moment to notice the spine in your back. And then when it feels right for you, take it to the other side. Adjust your hips first and then take your knees. And be in placing any supports. sure you don't have any too much height under your head now we're going to finish with a bridge bring your arms beside your body heels nice and close to your bottom and when you're ready push your feet down peel your hips off the floor one vertebra at a time rise up into your bridge if it feels right roll your shoulders under you if it feels right to clasp your hands do so otherwise just keep them down beside you 
push them down, lift your hips, squeeze your glutes. as long as you want and when you do are ready to come down and roll your shoulders out or down each vertebra and then when you're ready let's sit up for Shavasana everyone warm and comfortable and for the purpose of the video for those of you watching this at home I'm going to invite you to either lay as long as you wish in quiet you may like to also put music on I'm going to stop the video now thank you for practicing hope you enjoyed it